it is true. I went from 1.65 million uh, to 15.15, and we're lead sponsors on that deal. As soon as I um, took the Michael Blong online course, I knew that was going to be my vehicle for uh, leaving my full time job. And 11 months later, I did. It took us 18 months from the day we started till we closed on our first deal. And every day of those 18 months, we were building our investor list. Our idea on it was to model ourselves after other people who have been successful in the business. We knew that people were starting meetups. We knew that people were starting uh, podcasts. We knew people were doing free webinars online. And we knew people were networking like crazy. The biggest thing that's contributed to our success is just getting out of our comfort zone. I literally just got the keys to this property do you want to come see it? And so we were the first people to see it. It was three weeks before going to market. So by that time, we had run all the comps, gotten all the performance built, you know, done a lot of due diligence. And so we were able to wrap that up in about a week. Uh, we had it under contract. What really helped was that we were able to get these properties under contract before the bidding wars happened, before any other offers happened. So there wasn't a lot of competition on them. There's a need for housing and it's not class A luxury housing. It's class B and C workforce housing. We basically reverse engineered what we needed to do to get that deal done. Everyone's here to, to for one common goal, which is to get this deal closed. I'm a big proponent of meetups. We hold our own, but we also go to other people's meetups. And I know several people people who have found partnerships through meetups. We know what our investors are looking for. And I think that's very important to know. And there's other people that don't need to offer that amount of money to the investors. And there's other ones that need to, to do more. You know, starting a podcast is definitely no joke. It's a commitment. And if you're going to do it, do it with intention, I would say, and know that it's a couple year process at least. You know, I, you don't see dividends on week one or two. Our goal for 2020 is to close on 50 million in multifamily. And in order to do that, we need to have the systems and processes and team uh, in order to help us achieve that. Raising capital is not easy. It's a different business than, you know, operating a, a multifamily property. They're two almost different industries. Starting a podcast is definitely no joke.